creepy old crypt. Episode, episode what is this, five? five? I think so. Seven. I'm gonna go five. He's going seven, I'm going five. <clears throat> anyway, this is a very special episode because this episode is going to tackle something very beloved to us. Um, you know, we're here in maybe arguably the greatest theme park of all time. We covered a lot of Disneyland stuff before, but now we're going next door to the cream of the crop, the king of all parks, California Adventure, which is known for being the theme park that got it right day one and has only improved since then, which is almost that impossible is, because yeah. it was perfection the day it was open. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? No, I was gonna say, that's pretty pretty much spot on. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe they improved it, given that day one, it was, it was perfect. perfect. Um, I mean, day one, when California Adventure opened, which if you don't know, is the second park uh, that they opened next door to Disneyland. 2001, in, right? In 2001. Yeah. Which was a great year. Smiles from beginning to end of that year. Yep. Everyone was in the mood for theme park entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, but when it opened, it had a, a recreation of uh, Hollywood in, in certain parts of it, which is great. Hollywood is 20 minutes away. It's about, yeah. Right? It's Without traffic. Stone throw. Sure. Had a Whoopi Goldberg... Uh, Ride. Attraction, film, mm. whatever. Shut up. We're doing the thing. Um, it had, what else did it have? Tortillas. And I don't think you can get those anywhere else in California, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, anyway, despite all those things, they a lot of them are gone. A lot of them, a lot of things have changed. So this week we're going to reminisce about the great things in California Adventure that are no longer, you know, you know, the things that we loved, some of Kevin's favorite rides of all time that have been lost to time, like Tears in the Rain. What, what were you saying? That stuff was shit. Yeah, it was terrible. It, it was, was awful. It was so bad. It was the worst. Um, this episode is not gonna be as kind as other episodes because California Adventure is something that was sprang upon the Southern Californians to, yeah. to horror. Uh, when it opened, it was just, it reeked of on the cheap, and I mean, something, I mean, it's hard, I mean, it's hard to open anything in the shadow of Disneyland, mm -hmm. the greatest theme park ever. Yeah. But not only was it in the shadow of it, it literally was in was the shadow of it, it was next door. door. In the parking lot. This used to be yes. the Disneyland parking lot. And it was just, not only did it not stand up next to it, it, it was utterly eclipsed in every way. It yep. was a cheap theme park. And uh, a little bit about the history of it mm. was California Adventure was supposed to be a lot of different things before yeah. it originally opened. Um, it was at first the plan, it, they always wanted to open a second park. And for a minute it was going to be, they wanted to build something called Westcott, yeah. which was like Epcot of the West Coast. That didn't happen. Mm. Um, shut up. Uh, and then they had the Disney. I may I may have these out of order. By the way, as always, want to just say this podcast, this show, whatever, is conversational, not encyclopedia. No, you know. So uh, this might all be wrong. But to my knowledge, after that, they or, or before or after they wanted to do a Disney Sea. The Over Disney Sea concept was here first, and I think they wanted to build it in Long Beach. Like it wasn't necessarily going to be in Anaheim. Like they had property in Long Beach they wanted to use. There was issues with the Queen Mary and stuff like that. They didn't want it. Really? Or yeah. Something like that. So they didn't do that. And they went around and around with all these different concepts. And they settled on... I think I think it was because they were still reeling from... Again, this might be wrong, but they... I think they were still reeling from the failure of Euro Disney. At the time, Disneyland... It wasn't in, doing well financially in, at all. Yeah, yeah. Before it became Disneyland Paris, yeah. it was doing bad. And I think they were still bleeding from that. Mm -hmm. uh, so they... What we got was California Adventure, which was, yeah, we're going to celebrate California. In California. Which I, I still, like, can't understand. Like, I don't really, uh, I can't fully yeah. grasp why they wanted to, I mean, like, I, I can't understand why you would want to celebrate something yeah. in the same place. It, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, uh, so, uh, sorry, I was distracted by what was going on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 
yeah, but not only that, they did it so on the cheap, it was like, you know, they, they wanted to make it distinctly California. So it was like, oh, we're not going to have Disney characters, we're not going to have, you know, any of the usual stuff. Yeah, that's for Disneyland. Yeah, but yeah. California Adventure is a little more refined. And, you know, it seems weird to go that route now. It seems like, why would they even, why would they have that idea, you know? Yeah, but back then, they like, well, yeah. Well, in all honesty, that was kind of a philosophy they had with Epcot. Really? Epcot in Florida didn't have any of the characters in it. It was like, no, this is advanced. This is uh, more mature. You know, it's kind of yeah. like, you know, the theme of Epcot was kind of like the future of humanity. Mm. So, yeah, no characters. No, this is advanced. And even though California Adventure wasn't quite that mature, I still think that was the mentality was like, you know, yeah, you want characters over here. Over here, we're going to, you know, this is where you have a glass yeah. of wine and you take in California. But all it was was a chintzy theme park without any of the Disney magic. You know what I mean? Like, had no charm to at, it. At least Epcot had the had a, a big enough theme mm -hmm. that it could kind of carry itself. California yeah. Adventure, it was like, why did I spend 100 bucks to get in here? Yeah. Of course, at the time, it probably wasn't that much. But, but anyway, uh, yeah, so it didn't really... Um, it, didn't it wasn't really valuable to anybody you know it was like oh we got a ferris wheel all right they didn't even have a carousel did they they added that later the spinning thing no 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 the merry-go-round oh the actual carousel yeah yeah i don't think that was still later yeah um do you remember they had the the big spinning swing thing yeah silly symphony swings now but that was in a big orange before mm -hmm. right yep it was deemed after the orange groves that used to be here yeah yeah and then the ferris wheel that had like a sun on it Yep. It didn't even it's have a sun wheel. It really, nothing had characters on it. At all. Uh, at all. So uh, it wasn't until later that people were like, what? why am I paying all this money? I mean, it feels like I'm not. Yeah. People like were I'm at a cheap voting theme with their wallet. So and that it wasn't doing well. Yeah. So they, that, they urgently like put characters in stuff. Like, well, put Mickey on the wheel. Um, yeah. You know. The entrance to the this theme park used to be themed after a postcard. Yeah. So it was the California letters. Yeah. The mural of the like mountains and stuff, and it looked awful. Even it back really then, did. it looked bad. Now, I'm also gonna. This is rage from a long time ago. That is that is only now starting to come to the top yeah. for me. Is I felt like for a period of a few years, the only thing that a lot of people cared about at California Adventure was in that postcard esque entrance. Yeah were the letters California mm -hmm. and in the MySpace days you had to get a picture with your letter yep. and have that as your profile photo mm -hmm. so it'd be like oh my name's uh, you know Ricky I gotta go with the R I'm Kevin you know. so I got screwed over every time you did yep. I could have done it but I chose not to um, everyone's profile picture was, was that. With that letter did you know they um, moved those once they took them out? Yeah. It's in a park somewhere in California. In like Sacramento, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's, it, they're all set up again and everything. So we can. I mean, MySpace lives You can lives still long. do it. You yep. just got to go. Uh, so go to Sacramento. That's yeah. the only time you'll ever hear me say that. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, so they, uh, the whole entrance, it used to be, yeah, like like you said, like, a, like, a, like you're walking into a postcard. Mm -hmm. And it was always playing, I'm not hating on the Beach Boys. Yeah. But it felt so cliche to, round the clock, walk in there and hear California girls. I'm not. I'm kind of singing that in the in the in the tone of Katy Perry, but I know I don't sound like her. But I wish they all could be California. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. I haven't heard that one in a while. But anyway, um, blocked it from memory. But yeah, I felt like that was always playing. Mm -hmm. it, it was just. It was cliche. It was a wave lame. fountain that would just. Have a wave go over. It was just supposed to be yeah. like beach themed. Yeah, uh, they had the fountain that had like a sun. Yeah. And I heard that it was like it would reflect the sun's light or something I didn't to know make that. it glow. Yeah. And I heard that if you like touch that fountain during the day, it was meant to actually like absorb all the sunlight. Yeah. Or or reflect it or something. I can't remember this totally, but I just heard that if you touched or got near that fountain or the or the display or whatever yeah. it was so hot it would like melt your arm off huh. that's what i heard i don't know really but anyway um now it's what now it's now there's like a little fountain there or something like that it's actually i think where carthay circle is yeah actually now, you're right you're right is where that way because it was up against carthay circle it restaurant. wasn't really like yeah yeah you're right yeah that's right yep. um but anyway so 
that whole entrance was tacky. Uh, let's talk about what was tacky first. Yes. And then what what they changed. Yeah. So that so was we did tacky. the entrance. Yeah, that was tacky. Uh, you had the you had the ice cream like Clarabelle's ice cream it was or a something. Train. It, was it was like a, a Santa Fe Depot. It was a cat. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We saw a straight cat. Um, there it goes. Oh, that cat just jumped over a fence. Yep. All right, it's gone. Um, yeah, it was a train like yes. like the Santa Fe yeah. that would go up and down the coast. Uh, I guess that wasn't the worst thing. No. It was fine. It was a train. It was a train. It was not like, going to hate on a train. Ice cream, gift shop. Yeah. That's about it. Not going to hate on it. Nope. But uh, that was over there. That's on the right side. On the left side, you would go down and it was like Hollywood land kind of replication yeah. of Hollywood. That's still there. Yeah, and that, that main not, drag is yeah. really untouched. Yeah. Um, by the way, when California Adventure opened, every single business was a pun. Yep. Every single one. And um, now I can't remember any of them, but there was uh, a store. Award, uh, hot dogs was award wieners. And that's what I was going to say. Award yeah. wieners is still there. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and there was schmoozies. That's they still there. smoothies and... And I don't know what else is there was not one, there anymore. There was one thing that is not there anymore what? that I can't remember the name of it exactly, but I implore people online to go look this up. Yeah. It was like someone, Phil, Phil's casting couch or something. Really? It was a neon sign that was like Phil's casting couch, or it might not have been Phil. It was someone's casting couch. Which where was all, it? Do you remember where it was on the main drag? I, I I think it was a neon sign. It was just a neon sign oh. up above. Oh, okay. It wasn't a place you could go. Oh, okay. But it was just a neon sign up above. And it was Phil's casting couch, which casting couch already has a weird implication. But yeah. the sign was phallic. It was like, yeah, you didn't get away with this joke. Like, this did not work. Really? And it was gone quickly. Oh, I bet. Uh, I, I believe, I hope I got that right. I hope that wasn't in Hollywood Studios in Florida. I think that was here. Okay. So if I have it wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah. But anyway. That was all tacky, but that's all still there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, so um, what else? So yeah, all that. A lot of that is the main there. drag. At the very end of it is actually yeah. a mural of uh, of skyline to hide a gigantic theater building. Yeah. And then there's a trick of the the eye, like uh, where they make it get smaller and smaller to yeah. Like, force perspective. Yeah. Force yeah. perspective. Yeah. And uh, but that's the main drag. Yeah. Then the offshoot, there's the back lot. Yeah. And that has, it used to be Muppets. Yes. And it Muppets was. Muppets 3D was Muppets back there. Muppets 3D yeah. was back yeah. there. Um, the studio, it's called Studio 17 or something like that. It's still out of Big yeah. 17. That's where they had uh, um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire play it. That's where it was. Yes. So there was, it a was Who in Wants that, to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, that, thing. the building right next yeah. to, um, right between Monsters Inc. And, uh, yeah. and Muppets. And the first time. I went to this park. It was actually the first time I had gone to Disneyland in years. Oh, okay. And I didn't even go to the main Disneyland park. Oh, you just um, went to California. I hadn't Avengers? been here 10 years, and my oh, friend's okay. like, hey, do you want to go to this California event? I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. New, it's a new park. So I came here, and yeah. uh, we did that. Oh, okay. We went in there, and it was the same thing you expect from the show. Really? They uh, they have a host and stuff? They have a host. They have... Wow. Um, I never went on... And see, I never did this. Everybody in the audience has a, has a game pad you can select yeah. from and they do a, a question basically yeah and to ever like it was i forgot what it was the question was the answer but it was order these in the right order and whoever did it the quickest got to pull down to do the main thing in the in the, the center somebody got picked to go down to the center and he said like yeah i just picked like i did <laughs> I, he didn't even think about what he was putting yeah. he just boom 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 and he got it right so uh he got put down there the grand prize was a cruise Whoa. So and it was the same game as always, but um, you would just win stuff at the park, like gift cards and things yeah. like that. But the grand prize. That's cool. You'd win stuff. Yeah. yeah. And they said that there were two winners ever, or something like that, when I did it, or maybe one. I don't remember. But yeah, it was the same thing. It was just he he didn't make it very far, wow. and uh, yeah, that was it. And basically, you move on, and they let another group in. That That's is crazy. Gone completely. That yeah. room isn't even <laughs> like it's used for special events. That's yeah. it. Yeah, because I was gonna say uh, a couple years ago they did a annual pass event. Yeah, and it was in there. Mm -hmm. It was like uh, we watched an old film from the World's Fair, which was yeah. really cool. But it was just in there. It was like just tables and chairs. Yep, and it's just stuff. an empty yeah. room now. They ripped out all the stuff that was. Yeah. Who wants to be a millionaire? Um, wait, what, wait. They ripped out all the stuff from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Play it. Oh, I forgot it was play. That was the name. That yeah. was the name. Gotta gotta remember that you had to play it. <laughs> you had. 
But uh, anyway, that corner, that whole corner of the park is a waste of space. Mm -hmm. But oh, but let's talk about the big attraction that was over there. Yeah. Superstar limo. I regret never going on this. <laughs> I didn't go on this when I went then. Yeah. I might have been closed. Yeah. When I when I went. Because yeah. they closed that thing early. Yeah, I never went on it either. Yeah. It was there months. Yeah. One of the worst rides ever built. It, look it up on YouTube. It yeah. is off. Superstar limo. Yeah. You go through a tour of celebrity homes in yeah. Hollywood. It's so ugly and gross. Everybody, the character the characters look so bad oh. and oh, it's yeah. it's doesn't look good. Not good. Yeah. So uh, anyway, you would go by like, well, look, guy, you, ha you you would go in this in this limo, whatever vehicle, and there's a, a guy. It's like your agent on a TV, yeah. and he's telling you, oh, we got a gig for you downtown. Yeah. You know, follow me, and then you go in the you go in the limo, and then it's like, oh look, Tim Allen's house. Oh look. Uh, yeah, and it's him crying. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not good. It's him going. Uh, yeah. And uh, Drew Carey is yeah. like, Drew Carey's got like brochures, like, oh here's a map of Hollywood. <laughs> mm. um, who else was in it? Like uh, Jackie, Jackie Chan, Chan was yeah. in it. Uh, I think Whoopi Goldberg obviously was in it. Yeah. And. Uh, else there was a bunch of they just got every celebrity they could yeah it was stupid it was yeah. terrible yeah awful uh so what's great about this ride is you look at look it up on youtube it's, yeah it's horrible it was such a failure and a disappointment mm. that they quickly i mean they realized okay we need more disney in the parks yeah. we're, we're up a creek here this sucks they quickly slap dash turned it i mean in a few months yeah turned it, it wasn't into, going for a while yeah, yeah turned it into a monsters inc ride and that's still what's there today yep. Monsters and Inc. My, my, Mike Monsters and Sully Inc. to the rescue? Yeah, that's what it is. Mike yep. and Sully to the rescue. And uh, if you go on it, what's hilarious is that they have reskinned a lot of the celebrity uh, animatronics that are in there. They're all the dudes in hazmat the suits. The CDC characters? They all yeah. in yellow. Yeah, in all like, in the big yeah. hazmat suits. Yep. Yeah. Are all those celebrities that they just threw a costume over? Yep, they already had them, so might as well reuse them yeah. to save money. So if you see one of them going like that, like kicking, yep. that's Jackie that's Chan. That's Jackie Chan. If you see one holding brochures, that's Drew Carey. It's like, yeah, it's like, it, it's tickets or something like that. I forgot yeah, what it was. That's like, what it was. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think Tim Allen is it. There's a video that breaks it all down, yeah. and somebody went through and go, I, they're lining it up just on poses and everything. Yeah. They go, okay, this is that one, this is that one. Yeah. And yeah, they reused a lot of them. Yep. So the ride does live on. And that's why, like, when you go on the Monsters Inc. ride, that's why your cab mysteriously has a TV yeah. attached to it. It's because that was there for a guy to talk to you through the whole limo yep. ride. One of the worst rides ever. I mean, so that, is, that, is, that was a blunder of catastrophic proportions yep. and i regret we're not writing it yeah i wish i could have written it it's funny because it's far enough removed now yeah. that it starts to become cool again yeah i mean not really it's funny but like yeah it's like oh i want to go back to old california yeah. adventure but anyway so that that was terrible so look it up on youtube this is amazing but anyway so okay so that's over in that corner yeah tower of terror came a little later but yeah it's they yeah. were when yeah. I went for the first time. Yeah. They were in the process of building it. Yeah, and uh, which yeah. was obviously Twilight Zone. You never yep. went on it, but now that's changed to Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people were happy about that. I think people are generally okay with what's there now. Like, I think a lot of people think it's fun. It's still the same thrill. Yeah, it, that hasn't changed, but the theme sucks. I think it's like yeah. I think my my two cents on just what I've seen yeah. is that they did a good job with a crappy theme. Yeah. The the theme before, you know, rundown haunted hotel. Yeah. You can't top that. No. That's so cool. But, you know, for what terrible theme they were dealt, mm. like, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy mandate came from upper management. Yeah. The Imagineers don't make those calls. No. But the Imagineers did a great job with getting such a bad theme. You know what I mean? That's what I'm Yeah, they were handed a, a shit pile. And yeah, like, exactly. That's what you've got to do with it. So, uh, so given that, yeah, I think they did, they did yeah. a good job with what they had. Um... Of course, you've actually ri see. I walked yeah. through it. You actually rode it. I rode on it, yeah. and it's still the same thrill as before. It's actually actually more thrilling because yeah. they drop you more often. Yeah. But again, I I want creepy. I want scary. Well, I, I, I got I got the privilege of I waited for you to get off of it, and yeah. I had the privilege of watching a girl projectile vomit yep. 
as soon as she walked off, uh, she was just, in a group. Boom, she was yeah. gonna be on our on yeah. our elevator. Yeah. And her parents were like, no, no, come on. And she's like, oh no. And her mom like had yeah. a bag for her about to throw up into. Cool. And then they're like, no. And so they moved him, <laughs> moved her off into yeah. the exit. And that's yeah. when you saw her projectile vomit everywhere. Yeah. That was a real treat. Yep. Just thinking about that story is making me sneeze. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was man, for just velocity like yeah. no other. Boom. Anyway. I know a lot of people have been sick from this new one, but anyway. Uh, so, anyway, so that, that you know, most people know that story, yeah. so whatever. Um, let's, okay, Bugs Land is there right now. Yeah. That was a land that also came about a year later. Really quick. Be, really quick, again, yeah. on the cheap. Yeah, because just they realized, thrown together. Yeah, they were like, oh, we need more Disney stuff in here. So they quickly threw Bugs Land in. And uh, and it's awful. It's yeah. not good. It's all. It's still there and it's, it's bad. It's all fair rides. You, uh, it's the same. Yes. There's bumper cars. There's yep. this. There's that. It, yep. It's not good. It was thrown together because the parents were complaining there wasn't enough for kids. Yeah. And so they're like, okay, let's throw in the most kiddie rides you can. And it's chintzy. Yeah. It's not good. No. Nope. The one highlight of Bugs Land is, I think, I think most people would agree. Yeah. It's tough to be a bug. Yeah. They're three D show. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that is actually, you go in, everything in Bugs Land sucks, as we said. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go on, there's a ride where you smell stuff. Kids are bored on that ride, yeah. not, not adults. It's so boring. Kids are on that so going, when, when do we go on Pirates? Can we yeah. go on Pirates? But anyway, uh, Tough to Be a Bug is a 3D movie. And so you walk into it thinking, well, everything else in this, in this area sucks. It's got to be bad. Yeah. But it's well done. It's actually well done for what it is. Yeah. For a 3D movie about I think bugs. the animatronics look amazing. Yeah, and there's it, good animatronics. Yeah, in they it. mix animatronics with the 3D yes. and all this stuff. Yeah. And I thought the effects were really good. Yeah, I enjoy that show. I legitimately it's surprisingly whenever okay. I go, I'm like, oh, it goes a joke, and I go, no, this show's pretty good. Yeah, like, the, all the effects they do to it won't spoil it in case you know you haven't seen it. Yeah, you know when we do uh, Mega 60 War Game Days, we might, might be going that, on. It. You know, yeah. so we want to don't want to spoil it. But yeah, the in in house effects yeah, are really are great. really really well done. So anyway, and and I said this earlier today, but it's a lot of fun going to it in a packed house. Yeah. I got to go on it once when there was no one else in the theater. That was not fun. No. That, it was like, everything's looking at me. Everything is trying to touch me. I don't want to be in here. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's just me. You know, I'm kind of a, I'm not, I'm kind of a scaredy cat. Kevin loves that kind of stuff. He'd, probably, he'd probably thrive on that. Love it. Turn all the lights off. Hey, run the show with no lights on. Yeah, but like, for just me, do that. For me, being in a dark room by myself with a bunch of fake bugs, I was not feeling it. But to each his own. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Other, but other than that show, bulldoze bugs land. We don't yeah. need that. But anyway, that's still there. That's still there. Mm. Now let's go back around to the other side. Uh, to you know, a little bit down the opposite end of the park. Yeah. Is when, on the way to Grizzly Peak, you had Condor Flats. Yes. Which was a kind of aerial-themed, mm. I don't mean aerial like Little Mermaid, that's that's new, but, yeah. but I'm talking aerial, com like, <laughs> not combat. No, like, air, <laughs> like, <laughs> plain small, like, forest airport. Yeah. With like, yeah, basically the jet it, engines and it stuff. It was supposed to be not like a forest the, airport. But no, like, but it yeah. was like the spirit of flight. It was yeah. like, you know, here it's kind of like you know the Wright brothers, maybe were here. And, yeah. You know, it was all. It didn't work. It was no. just kind of like a lot of a lot of concrete and old planes. Yep. Right. Um. Yeah, I think pretty much like. I don't. Re I mean, what was there? I mean, the, other than, other than Soren, that, <laughs> Soren was the best ride at the park. Yeah. For a while at the beginning. Yeah. So let's talk about that. So yeah. that, Was that their day one? I be Yeah, I believe I it was. so. So the one good ride they had there. Yeah. And you know, some people don't even care for it. But I've always had a soft spot for yeah. it. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. It's Soren. It was Soren over California. Yes. And it's not, you know, some people aren't into stuff if it's not a thrill. And some people don't respond to stuff that is, a, like, has a lot of video involved mm -hmm. or, or film or whatever. But I thought it was the most chill, relaxing ride. So I loved it. Yeah. Uh, it was cheesy, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But. This ride was they would you'd go into this theater, you'd get a uh, safety video by Patrick Warburton, which is great, which is a classic and it's, and safety it's the video. Same, it was the same back then, the same now. It's so cheesy. It's yep. great. They've updated the ride, but they kept the video. Yep. Thank God. Yeah. But anyway, he tells you, uh, you know, to put if you're not tall enough, just put your belt through the loop. Yeah. You know, like classic Warburton. And uh, anyway, he tells you what to do. 
you go in the theater and it basically this theater you sit in it lifts you up into a dome the ride system is yeah. so unique i i will like look at it sometimes when when, yeah. when you start the ride i will just be looking at the ride system yeah, just yeah. to see how it works because yeah. it's unlike anything you've ever seen it's like a big arm that lifts yep. you up into a dome yeah and then you they kind of just play this movie but you kind of like sway with the yeah. movie it's not intense at all no but it's so funny, I was just saying this earlier today. I've brought like family to that ride mm. before. Well, honestly, and friends too. I've brought people there to that ride yeah. and who don't know anything about it. And I tell them, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a weakling. Hi. Hi, do you think this is the smoking area as well? No, no, I don't think so. I, I think, think it's just so. I think it's just there. Yeah. Definitely yeah. I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, um, so, where was I? Oh yeah, so the, the yeah. ride system scared. Of I'm a weakling when it comes to yeah. rides. Totally, like I don't. I'm not into roller coasters, drops, or anything yeah. like that. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't go on it if it was like that. Yeah. But when you go into Soren and you don't know anything about it, it's kind of intimidating it's looking. It's daunting because yeah. you're in a room full of machinery. Yeah. You walk in and you look up and it's just like gears, this thing's gonna lift chains, you up. Pistons. And, yeah. Like it's daunting. Yeah, it's kind of scary. So, multiple times I've brought people in there and they go. Oh, I'm not doing. It. Never mind. Never mind. And they leave. My family has not been on this ride. It's because so every smooth. time I take them in, they're like, "No, no, no! I don't like the look of this." And it's like, "No, you're just gonna. Wait, you're did gonna." They, did they like Star Tours? I forgot. Yeah, I mean, okay, they, they, don't, say, they don't love it, but they'll go like on it. Way more. It, Star Tours is way more intense. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But they don't like. I think they don't like the idea of wait. Your feet aren't on the ground. Yeah. That it's like that freaks people out. Yeah, but it's just you're it's up in chill. the air. It's yeah. chill. But anyway, so. The California version of this ride, the original version of the ride, it was cheesy. I mean, you yeah. went to, you didn't exactly go to exotic locales. No, you went to golf courses. Yeah, golf course. The beach. The beach. Uh, <laughs> Yosemite. Yosemite was nice. That yeah, was Yosemite scenic. was awesome. That was scenic. You got to see where uh, Sean, Sean's kids were conceived. So that was good. <laughs> LA traffic. Yeah. yeah. That's good. LA traffic. You, I mean, you never get to see that otherwise. No. Uh, but anyway, so that, but it was, it was a California tradition to go on that ride. Yeah. Uh, it was goofy, and, and there was no transition between scenes. It would just cut. Mm. You're flying over the beach. Cut. You're in Yosemite. Cut. Yeah. And at one point, there was a really cheesy CGI hang glider guy. Yep. Woo! Woo! And that was goofy. And yep. then it would end at Disneyland. Mm. And then what's funny is they opened that ride over at Epcot, and the ending was the same. Disneyland. You, oh, yeah, we're at Disneyland. Woo! And it was all California. Why did they, why did they have that at Epcot? Don't know. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, that ride, it was goofy, it was, you know, it was, it was tame, but to me it was a classic. Yeah. I felt like that was the one ride that California Adventure had that no one else did. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like, okay, they actually have something iconic. Yeah. That yeah. was a ride to go on. Everybody said, that's the one ride you, you can't go wrong out. with, yeah, it's soaring. You gotta go on soaring. Yeah. Uh, some people hate it, but whatever. Yeah. I think, I think it's, I think it's got some beloved, you know, yeah. some love. They recently updated it. Yes. And it was better throughout. I yeah. think like everything about it was yeah. on par. Like, it's funny. On point. I see I see a lot of negativity about the new one. I love the new one. Yeah, the new one's great. The new one is grandiose in all the ways that the other one was not. Mm. Um you know, there was definitely a charm to the old one. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, if they brought the old one back, I'd love to go on. Oh yeah. But the the new one is it's just uh yeah, it has this grandiose like swell to it mm. like uh, you go around the world, it's yeah. soaring around the world. Though. Everything's just bigger. Like it's yeah. the pyramids. It's the Eiffel Tower. It's not yeah. like golf course. It kind beach. of yeah. It, to me, it, it, it gives me an appreciation for everything around the world. Yeah. Versus just California, you know. I, yeah. I, I don't know. California had a charm to it, no doubt. But the soaring around the world, yeah. I don't know. I think they made something. I, I think the testament to it is every time this one ends, ever people clap. Yeah. That never used to happen on the old one. No. It was so tepid. They clap every time. And I like the old one, but it was tepid yeah. that people would just get off and like, yeah, that was relaxing. This new one, people are like, people are moved by it, yeah. I feel like, you know? One of the reasons, I'm so glad they kept the score. The score in the first one is yes. amazing. Classic. And they just kind of like yeah. slightly remixed it to fit the new one. Yeah. But it's still the same. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like at, at this time in history. Yeah. It's great to have something that shows how great the world is, yep. kind of, you know? Exactly. I don't know. I, I just appreciate it. Mm. And uh, I've seen some people kind of balk at the uh, use of CG. Yeah. Because there's, oh, oh, there's a CG polar bear, or there's a CG elephant. 
the old one had the worst CG, had a CG hang glider. Person. Yeah, it like, had a CG human. It was, it was bad. It's not really that weird to me. No. You know? It's not at all. So I don't know. I love the new one. Yeah. So I go. I, I, We've I, completely you know. skipped but, the smells. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. This ride has, like, I don't know what you. Yeah, they probably <laughs> named it some technical thing yeah. to sell it. Like, yeah. uh, But. Yeah, when you're going through it, uh, the first one, you're going through like orange groves, you're smelling oranges and everything. Wait, are you talking about the way, the smell technology? Yeah. I actually know the name what of this. It? What the, is cause it? Because they were talking about it this weekend. Yeah. There was a presentation, I know this is going off the off the rails here, but there was a presentation at Epcot. Yeah. Where they talked about Horizons, an old Epcot ride, was the first one to use something called the Smellitzer. Is that? It was oh. a smell cannon. Yeah. And what was funny is they said that at this presentation. Yeah, Horizons, it would make you smell stuff. Uh, there was an orange grove in that ride. Okay. And they would blast you with the scent of oranges. It was the first one to do it. All these Imagineers that I follow on Twitter yeah. went, went, whoa, 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 whoa. We used that in all the original Epcot rides before that. In Journey to Imagination, yeah. Universe of Energy, all these mm. other ones. We invented it for that. Yeah. So they were all pissed off that they said Horizons was the first to use it. There were rides before that. Yeah. So anyway, it was a whole there was a whole debate de debacle on Twitter about it. Anyway, the Smellitzers were brought back in full force. Yeah. For, for this ride. Soren, and the oranges were the iconic. That was smell. the normal thing. It was normal, like you smell the beach, the forest, yeah. all that stuff. The new one moved on, and things like dirt. You can finally yeah. smell dirt. Yep. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, so uh, what I love about it is you go through the Taj Mahal, you're yeah. smelling gardenias, like the garden, Everything, flowers. it smells awesome. Oh, it's yeah. great. And uh, so, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Well, I don't want to spoil it for everybody yeah. out there. You want to, we'll you know, see. We'll see where smells, we go in the world. You know, some smells for yourself. Yeah. But, uh, but I thought they did a great job. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. the old one too. It would be fun. They need to do a thing where like just for the summer they bring the old one back. Mm. But, uh, but I like both. I like, yeah. I, I like the new one a lot. Anyway, anything else about Soren? Oh, I, I, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. What no, no, go, go for it. I was just going to say, I've heard horror stories from employees at Soren who work in the area below, like where they lift you up into this dome. I've heard the bottom of that dome, I've heard that the bottom of that dome yeah. is horrifying. The stuff people drop, it's like diapers, kids, uh, kids crap, yeah. piss, you name it, bugs, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so I've heard it's... I've heard horror stories yeah. about being in that lower area, so that's all. Anyway, you gonna say something about <laughs> no, that? No, 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 that, that was basically it. I didn't know if you had an experience. No. You were down there once or something. <laughs> no, I always check it out to see if there's anything crazy yeah. down there whenever I get off. Yeah, I've heard very dark dark things. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so that's Soren. Um, so yeah, it was in that Condor Flats area, mm. which is all concrete and plains. Yeah. But in the, in the past year, they've made it part of Basically, the area beyond that was Grizzly, Grizzly, Grizzly Peak. Yeah, which was it's very. That's where we are now. Yeah, it's very like redwoods, like old national park stuff. Yeah, yeah. which I think it's the one area of the park they nailed day one. Yeah, they they left this how it is. Like right they, the, they yeah. had little things, but this is pretty much it. They did a great job. You feel like you're in the wilderness. Yeah. They did an, I think an excellent job day one. It doesn't have my favorite rides in it. I don't really go on the rapids ride. This one you get too wet on. Yeah. I don't mind it. I, I have fun on it, but sure. you got to be in the mood to get wet sometimes because yeah. you get soaked on this thing. Yeah. So there's not that that much. There's a there's a nature trail that's more for kids. Yeah. It's it's just an obstacle course that you can yeah. have fun in. I don't care. Um, but they what they did is they extended that area to take Soren into it. Yeah. So now that area is all kind of woodsy, mm -hmm. and that was a great yeah. move. Because now you could say, oh, okay, there's a great ride there. There's Soren, you know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that, the Grizzly Peak area has always been great. Yeah. Um, they nailed it from they, day one. Yeah, they nailed it. Uh, we were talking before. I, I've said this a million times, but I wish, I wish they would get rid of that nature trail and then deep in the woods put some kind of dark ride there. Yeah, they like, they should definitely. I don't know, like maybe they don't have the space, but they yeah. got to put something there that's not just yeah like slides and. And yeah, and ropes. Stuff. Yeah, and ropes yeah. and stuff. You know, if they put, they got that ride in Hong Kong, uh, Mystic Manor. Yes. If they put Mystic Manor back mm. there, you have like a haunted house in the woods. Oh, that'd be so awesome. You gotta do that. it. You gotta yeah. do it. Anyway, um, yo, Disney, you could use that idea for free. <laughs> yep. Um, but anyway, uh, so that area is great. Oh, should also mention, 
that area is also home to what I think is, it's not really an attraction, yeah. but one of the coolest things they've built, I think, uh, hotel-wise, is oh, yeah. the Grand totally. Californian Hotel, which is the one hotel that we have here that is actually within the park. Yeah, it's connected. It's connected. So you can actually, if you stay there, you can wake up and walk, you're in the park. Mm. Like, from your hotel window, you can go out onto your balcony and you're Looking out over here. this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's expensive staying there. Uh, go figure. Mm. But, uh, but man, it's awesome. If, yeah. you, if you can ever get a deal on staying there, yeah. try it if you can. There's also a YouTube video of somebody filming the entire suite, like the grand they, yeah, suite. Yeah, they have a huge suite. And yeah. it's gigantic and it's great. Yeah. And uh, I, I know that during special events, George Lucas stayed there yeah. when, he, when he won the uh, the Disney, uh, the uh, what is it? The I don't know. Uh, Legends. Legends, Disney Legends yeah. Award. Uh, they put him up in that suite. I know Paul McCartney stayed there once. Really? Yeah. Um, so try to get that room. It can't be that expensive. No. I'm sure it's cheap. Yeah. Just say you're an annual pass holder. They got a discount. Yeah. They got to give you at least 15% off. God, how much is that a night, do you I... think? To stay there normally can flux anywhere. Like a normal room yeah. can be, I'm going to say fluctuates 500 a night. Because yeah. sometimes it'll go a lot less. Mm. Like during, when it's dead, it might go 350, maybe 250. Yeah. It never goes lower than that. No. But a lot of times it even goes higher. And it's like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, the suite, then what would that cost? Oh my God, night? maybe. Yeah. I remember trying to book a long time ago. Yeah. I tried to book, they had specialty suites at the Disneyland Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a, like, oh, we got a Pirates of the Caribbean suite. Yeah. We got a Adventureland suite. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna save up, I'm gonna try to book that. Yeah. Cause wouldn't that be cool, book that during game days or something yeah. like that. And I called them up and they were like, oh, those are only for like special guests, but it is a dead time. And I was like, perfect, I'm gonna do it. And they're like, yeah, so yeah, I mean, they are available if you, you know, four grand a night if you want. Nope. I threw my phone into the river after that. I didn't even want that phone call to exist. Four so grand if that's how much that that's was. That's four grand? That's a huge room. It's It's gotta be 10 times bigger. Yeah, there's multiple bedrooms. So I bet you so. you're right. I bet you it's 10 grand a night. Yep. I bet you, I had, if I had to guess. Yeah. That's insane. Damn. Anyway. Anyway, we got off the trail there a yeah. little bit on the hotel thing. But anyway, Grand Californian, even if you don't stay there, it's really cool to just kind of go into the lobby and chill there. Yeah. And they have, it, just for anybody out there, if you go, you know, this year or whatever, they have free Wi-Fi in the, they have a huge lobby, very scenic, lots of, it's really pretty. And uh, they have free Wi-Fi. So like, hey, chill there for a minute, you know. Yeah. I've, uh, I've gone there many times with my laptop to like write stuff yeah. and like it's a great place to just chill, you know. Like, there's, and there's usually a piano player playing, just playing yeah. music and everything. Yeah. It's really nice and relaxing. Yeah, so it's cool. So even if you're not staying there, definitely worth checking out. Yeah. And there's a little place in in the Grand Californian that's kind of off the beaten path, but they have a little restaurant called Whitewater Snacks. Okay. And they have like a lot of stuff with carnitas in it. Ooh. So if you're a pork yeah. fan, they have a carnitas burger, nacho, dude. It's off the beaten path, trust me on this. You're gonna like it. If you don't, I'll refund you. I'm gonna cut that part out when this airs. <laughs> anyway, um, but anyway, so yeah, off the beaten path a little bit. We're going back to, okay, so back into the park. Um, back in the park. Okay, you go past Grizzly, the yeah. Grizzly area, and you get to kind of the boardwalk-esque yeah. area. Right where, uh, well, the Whoopi Goldberg yeah, movie thing was you turn right and right there was Whoopi Goldberg's. I think it I was, forgot what it was called Golden Dreams. Yeah, and it was about California as well or something, right? Cali it was about all the different cultures of California that yeah. led to now, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was really hokey. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, she was. A, I've never been on it. Yeah, but wasn't she like a, a statue? Didn't she? Like, when you first go in, yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't even bad. No, it was. It was well founded, mm. but it was. You'd go in and there's statues and it's they're like goddesses, and all of a sudden they one of them comes to life, and it's Whoopi Goldberg's face like projected on yeah. her, like oh hi everybody, and she played the spirit of California. Okay, and what happens was this film would go through the history of California and she was present in all of it. Yeah, if you've ever seen Lost, she was like the Jacob of California. Okay, she was just always there <laughs> guiding things to happen. You know what I mean? 
and uh, man, was it hokey. It was like, oh, here's during, here's the, uh, you know, here's the, uh, when the settlers came over yeah. here and there was a bad earthquake. And she goes over to like the head, like Padre guy and she goes, oh, do you want to give a few words, Father? I think the people here are shaken up. You know, it was like, come yeah. on. But anyway, uh, there was one part that was attempting to be sad. This is probably going to come off stupid, but there was a part of it that tried to be sad, but it was hilarious. Mm. Where uh, it, it showed how they built the railroad. Yeah. And it was like these uh, Chinese like miners. Mm. It was like a guy and his son. Yeah. And they're like pounding holes into the rock to put dynamite in so they could light it and, and then they'd bail and then, you know, they'd, they'd blow up, a, you know, an area for the track. Yeah. And it's like played up for laughs almost. Like, hey, we got the dynamite. Uh-oh. And, he, and he, light, he lights the stick of dynamite and accidentally drops it. And they're like, oh, no, where's the dynamite? Where's the dynamite? Yeah. And it's almost played like comedically. Like, uh-oh, can't find the dynamite. And then all of a sudden, it goes to like black and white and fades like they all blew up. It's like, Oh, okay. they all oh they all died, so that. Okay. I re I just remember seeing that with Sean and we were laughing so hard because it was like that was played for comedy and they yeah. all blow up and die like, it was horrific. Jeez. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, so you're missing out on that if you never got to go, but anyway, th it was a hokey film. Hmm. Um. Uh, but uh, then it would end and it would like go to Whoopi Goldberg's statue and she'd say, oh, don't forget the magic of California is in you. Ma'am, you forgot your purse. <laughs> yeah, it was goofy. And it so, sounds really goofy. So when I heard they were bulldozing that for a Little Mermaid ride, I was okay with it. Yeah. And, and then another they, dark ride. Yeah. yeah, and that's what they did because California Adventure did need, it needed more dark rides. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a dark ride guy, personally. Like, I, you know, I can't really go on a lot of roller coaster mm -hmm. stuff. I like the design of dark ride stuff, as I've said many times before. Yeah. Um, I think the Little Mermaid thing is kind of like classic fantasy land dark ride. Do you like the Little Mermaid ride? I do like the Little Mermaid yeah. ride. It's just, it's a quaint little thing to like to yeah. go through. I feel like it's the kind of thing California Adventure needed. Yeah, I it like did, the effects in it. Yeah, I, I it, really didn't, like it didn't have a fantasy land ride like that quite yeah. before. And, uh, and it's up to par with that stuff. Mm -hmm. I think at first it was lit kind of wonky. Yeah. It was kind of like, oh, the house lights are on. Yeah, yeah, but they, they made it better. Yep. Um, I still think the ending would be cooler if there was a giant Ursula. Yeah, I think so. And too. I think, I keep hearing rumors There's every year. There's always rumors that that was That coming. they're going to close it down and add this climactic ending. ending. That would add a lot. I think that would make it. Cause I think it, so, too. I like what it is, but it does kind of hurriedly end. Mm. It kind of, oh, oh, wrap it up, wrap it up yeah. kind of thing, you know? But anyway, but I like it. I yeah. do like it, and it only takes two seconds to get on. Mm -hmm. It's like a walk-on every time, so it, it's good. I like it. Um, so that's that. So you go down, and then, like, what? The boardwalk area, you got, like, the wharf yeah. restaurants. That is all basically restaurants now. It used to be, like, a play. It almost reminded me of, like, Toontown. There was, like, a boat there you could yeah. go and play on and, and things like that. Yeah. It, it's a lot more, like, kid stuff to do over yeah. there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was that, and it was a thing called Mahon Madness. Oh, yeah! And it was a roller coaster tucked right into the corner uh, near where Little Mermaid is now, and a few, like, a few, little bit further yeah, down. Yeah, a little bit that. further down, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a cookie-cutter, crazy mouse roller coaster that as a, yeah. that's at every fair, and yeah. they just rethemed it as a, a, a car, and it's Mulholland Madness. Yeah. And... Yes. It's not like Mulholland Drive. No. You don't leave with a, a question of existential doubt. <laughs> or you don't you don't question what you saw. Yeah. No, you just hate it. Yeah. Um, now but it's what? Goofy Sky School? Goofy Sky School, it's the same exact ride, they just reskinned it. That's it. Yeah. Same roller coaster. It sucks. I I yeah. I rode it once, I didn't like it. I know people who love roller coasters that on that they're kinda like, I feel like I'm gonna die. Yeah, it, it kinda not, makes you feel like you're gonna go fun. off. Yeah. It's not fun at all. Yeah. Um, right next to that is uh, is where all those like play areas and where like yeah. the boat and everything like that. It's now restaurants, pretty yeah. pretty good restaurants. Yeah, not bad. Um, that there's a restaurant in there that basically changes theme every few months. Right, right, yeah. That used to be called Burger Invasion. Yeah, and it was I forgot about that spaceship, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it was so cheesy. How funny! And yeah, yeah they rethemed that into just a generic thing. And God, I barely even remember that. Yep. Wow. Um, the, the rest of it, I think, 
Oh, it was a pizza. Pl- it was a Polynesian themed restaurant. Really? Uh, I forgot what it's called. I can't remember. Mm. I remember going in there. Yeah. And I, I, I can't remember. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue what it was called. But it, I think it was Polynesian or, or Hawaiian. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was another restaurant that is now just pizza, pasta, and, and salads. Pizza, pizza, pasta, puzzle. I forgot what it's called now. I don't know, that boardwalk pizza. Boardwalk or pizza. Or yeah. Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, but there's t- tons of seating there now and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, that place isn't bad. No, it's all right. Um, so yeah, that whole boardwalk area. Yeah. Is mostly the same. For, right? Yeah. Like, like the whole boardwalk. Yeah, like they still got the boardwalk games. Oh, you're talking about yeah. Um, that is right. pretty much the same except for Toy Story. They added that yeah. way later. They added the Toy Story Midway Mania. Yeah. Which I don't think is bad. No. Uh, the wait is always too long. They can't so get I don't go on and it. off that right. It's always yeah. too long. It's, it's fun, though. It's always too it's long. It's a more yeah. advanced Buzz Lightyear. I like it better than Buzz Lightyear, yeah. personally. It's more advanced. They sling you from room to room. It's fun. Yeah. And you have to you compete against each other shooting stuff. Basically, but I think it's a fun ride. I think it's, it's fun. I like it. Um, all the games, I've never... I don't think I've ever played. Yeah. There's games and a... And a I don't think I've ever played those either. No, they're just the same throw... Like, the things you see at the fair that take your mo- steal your money because it doesn't you can't win. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Those kind of fair rides, uh, fair attractions. Yeah. Uh, Not interesting. No, at the opposite end of that, basically where um, where that ends and the place we were just talking about, yeah. the, the wharf area, I guess. Uh, meet is used to be a giant ride that would shoot you up in the air called the oh, Malibu. Ring. Oh God! And it was same, I would never go on that either. same thing. It was yeah. it was the stuff you see at the fair. Yeah. And basically, they just you're sitting there and then they shoot you up. Yeah. And then you drop a couple times. I got on it once. Sucked. I hated it. <laughs> uh, that when they did the whole retheming of that, they're like, this does not fit. Yeah. So they just. Remove this. Wow. Nothing. Nothing's there now. It's a couple, a couple of tree planters, but you can't go up there and everything. Yeah. It's just gone. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So they did enhance things a little bit with the yeah. Toy Story thing. That was that was okay. Yeah. California Screaming is the big roller coaster that's in yeah. that area. And again, I, I don't really go on roller coasters, but you now have I taken up. Used to hate that ride. Yeah. I rode on it once, and I go, this sucks. Right. I don't like it. I think I wrote... No, I didn't write it again after that. I wrote it once. I didn't write it again until just recently because I... You got desensitized. Got completely desensitized by yeah. Space Mountain in Paris. Yeah. After that, I'm fine. You're, yeah, so you're I, done. I, I'm, I'm, I ride that whenever I want. Like, Derek was just saying that today uh, when we were here. Yeah. When he was here earlier. Is uh, he he was always uh, about roller yeah. coasters too. And then he just went one day to Magic Mountain and was like, all right put me on Riddler's Revenge. Mm. And he went on that, and then it was like, yeah, the barrier was broken. It's like something clicked in my brain and go, oh, these are fun. And <laughs> I don't know what, what it, like, what it was, yeah. but I rode, I like, I have no problem with that, and it's, it's a blast. How funny. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, so yeah. that's, that's, a lot of people love that roller coaster. Isn't it, now the voice on that roller coaster, isn't that Neil Patrick Harris? It is now. Yeah. Um, I, it's been so long since I, I don't yeah. remember what it was before, but it was around the same thing. It was still, I thought it always was. It was still a... No, it was... It, oh, really? It, they added it later. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was something else before they rethemed it. Okay. Um, and the way the ride starts, it's pretty cool. You start from a complete level ground. Yeah. And they basically just shoot you up a hill. Yeah, okay. And uh, there's a countdown, and basically that's where Neil Patrick's voice is. Sure. He's like, uh, everybody hold on, three, two, oh, go, and sure. it's stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's Neil Patrick Harris now. If you go back and watch old videos of it, yeah. you can hear the old voice. I don't remember what they said or what yeah. they did, but they definitely How funny. I didn't realize yeah. that. Um, well, anyway, there's like, uh, what else is around there? Is a carousel? Who cares? Yeah, Whatever. carousel, all that stuff. The biggest thing, the mm-hmm. biggest improvement, I think, to the, the park in general yeah. is the in the center of all the stuff we just talked about, yeah. made everything, is a big body of water. Yeah. And essentially, that used to just be a body of water. And you would just see it, yeah. and that was it. And I think, now, in the beginning, I think it actually had waves. Really? I don't remember that at all. For a minute, I think it was a wave pool. Like really? It would look like, oh, the crashing waves of the ocean. Yeah. I think that was there. I could be wrong, but I think that was there for, like, Really? Moments. I'll look into that, because I didn't, I didn't know that. I, yeah, I think yeah. that was just a fleeting thing. Mm-hmm. But, most for the most part, it was just a body of water yeah. sitting there. Anyway, you were saying... Anyway, they, they went, okay... 
we can't just have this body of water sitting here. Yeah. We got to put more entertainment into the park. Yeah. So they put in what uh, the world of color. And I yes. remember they announced this years before it came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what it was going to be. And I was like, oh, that's cool, new show. Yeah. It blew me away. Me too. That, totally. That was like, this yeah. is better than any fireworks show I've ever seen. Yeah. Better than it, like. Because I'm not normally a, I won't speak for you, yeah. but I'm not normally a show guy. I love fireworks. I Yeah, I mean, I, I like just, fireworks. Don't I get me wrong. I love fireworks shows at the music, especially Disney music. Yeah. But, uh, but like, I didn't, um, and, like, I didn't dislike Fantasmic or yeah. anything over at Disneyland. I didn't dislike it, but I never made time for it. I was just like, no, I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather go on rides and stuff. World of Color changed that. Yeah. World of Color, it was like, yeah, I'll check it out. I keep hearing about it, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was, it's a concentrated blast of everything Disney you've ever appreciated. It's sensory overload of yeah. every Disney movie you can imagine. Yeah. And and done in a way that it yeah. takes you on every it's up and so down. It's so good. Yeah, it's, it's just, really well done. It's it's hard to process sometimes because yeah. it's just so grandiose yeah. and everything is just the lighting effects, all the, the water and yeah. everything. Uh, they do a great job with it. And what's funny is they got it so right on the original show. Yep. They nailed it, it, it day one. It's it's super exciting, and then it gets really sad, and then it becomes really triumphant, and it's, yeah. it's so well done. And it's funny, they've done, like, multiple different World of Color shows. Yeah. They did a Christmas version. They did uh, a 60th anniversary Disneyland version. None of them are as good. Nope. They're all, like, pretty lame, they actually. They even started <laughs> changing up to what they had there and adding, yeah. like, different movies, and it's just, like, it from day one, they were yeah. messing it up, and they, yeah. it never went back. Although, I will say... This is just coming from my perspective. Yeah. The only change they ever did I, I that do. I got excited about was when they tacked Tron at the yep. end of it. And that was only for a few months. And it was so good because yeah. basically it the right the show ends. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's over. Yeah. And then things start glitching out. Like the yeah. normal the normal ending yeah. starts like <laughs> and it's yeah. like what and then it starts going into the Tron yeah. stuff. And during this, obviously, yeah. all the lights behind it are off. They turn off all the lights because yeah. you can see the like every light in there is yeah, off. Yeah. So it's going all this charm thing. And then as soon as it ends, yeah. it goes brr, brr, and every light be- like in the entire area yeah. turns on again. Yeah. And it's so cool. And you just see Jeff Bridges' eyes just come up yep. on the car- that, on the, on the that's, the, that's the thing I miss not being there. Like yeah. I'm so glad we got to see that. Yeah, make I miss when Disney loved Tron. Yeah. Because I love it. Speaking of that, we should go back to, I know it's kind of jumping around a little no, bit. No, no, it's okay. But going back to the Hollywood yeah. area. We forgot to talk about We forgot that. a few things. Yeah. They started doing, back in 2010, they started, Disney, I think, has always wanted some kind of nightlife. Yeah. Like, oh, dance club and drink alcohol and yeah. whatever. Which, by the way, California Adventure, you can drink alcohol. Yeah. That's the difference. Everywhere. That's a big difference between it and Disneyland. Disneyland yeah. is still dry. Yep. Except for Club 33. Yep. But uh, California Adventure, you beers, you got beers. Anyway, um, but they always wanted some kind of nightlife, and they got their wish when yeah. Tron came out in 2010. They did a new thing called Electronica, yeah, which was the first really nighttime thing they did at yeah. this part. Yeah, and it was like a night nighttime club. Yeah, all Tron themed. And I loved it. It was great. They had like a show with a guy oh. with lasers. Yeah, and yeah, laser, laser man. Like, yeah. It was so good. Yeah, the and they had, arcade. Yeah, and they had all these like, like tight rubber suit dancers with Tron discs just dancing yeah. around. And, yeah, like, it was and, awesome. Uh, yeah, I loved it. We took uh, Tommy Tallarico, and, famous yep. composer and Tron fan, mm-hmm. Tommy Tallarico. We took we took him there, and he was just staring. Like as soon as he got there, there were all these guys in leather Tron suits, and he was just amazed by their butts like it was just like <laughs> wow they're really wearing that wow yeah. it was just it was meant to be a little more mature yeah uh so anyway <laughs> but but what, but uh they had all that but what was great too is they had uh flynn's arcade yep the vintage arcade and it was bumping like there were a lot of people oh, yeah. there tons of things and you you put money in the and you get tokens that said yeah. flynn's arcade on yeah. them that you could use which in the I, machines. Ca- I kept uh, a ton I, of yeah them. i got some too absolutely yeah but uh yeah, that was such a great yeah. addition. And then after a year, it's like they went, okay, we're done promoting Tron. Yeah. So they changed it. What you could you tell it was going on the wayside yeah. because it used to take up the entire main drag we talked about yeah. and the offshoot back lot area. Oh, yeah. And then it started getting removed from the main drag and just yeah. kind of getting pushed in this off, off Into the to corner. the side back yeah. light, back, And then it went away completely. And then, yeah. And then they changed it to... Uh, what what is it? Uh, uh, Mad what, Tea Party. Yeah. 
I guess Tron was was too out of date, so they went to a 2009 movie, Alice in Wonderland, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. And And uh, wasn't that before? Wasn't that before Tron? I th- or was that after? I can't remember. Oh, now I can't I've remember. never seen it, so like yeah, I've I mean, only seen I Tron, care. so I don't, I don't care at all. But anyway, uh, Mad Tea Party. Oh man, uh, it just became a hot topic goth nightmare. Yeah, it I was, couldn't do it. It was bad. I, Tron, I went and checked it out once. I'm like, Tron was so futuristic, ridiculous that I felt like everyone could have a good time. Yeah. And then Mad Tea Party was awkward. Yeah. Some people fit in there, and others it was like some uh, people loved it. Yeah, some people liked it. I, yeah. I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking no. on those people if you liked it. Yeah. But I did not feel it. It, it just felt like it was for like goth teens or something. Mm-hmm. Like I could. It, yeah, it was not like yeah. acceptable to me. <laughs> no. Um, but you know that's just that's just yeah. me. Not, I'm not being a hater. But I hated it. Yeah. Um, me too. Anyway, and it stayed that way for years. For a while. Until recently. Didn't it turn into something else? And I, I want to say it was one last thing. A rock... Uh, well, they got... After Mad Tea Party finally ended... Yeah. They, like, still wanted nightlife, but didn't know what to theme it. So it was jamming on the back lot. That's what it was. Where they basically just set up a bunch of party decorations and just said, Dance! <laughs> it wasn't good. Then this summer... Or, uh, yeah, this summer, yeah. they changed it. Finally, it was it became a Marvel thing. Mm. It became, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, like, awesome dance party or something. Yeah. By, by this time, I'm not even checking it out. Yeah. Like, I'm not even going, oh, I think we're like? I think we're pushed out of that yeah. whole section. Yep. Anyway, I want Electronica again. I would yeah. go if it was Electronica. Oh, that was go. so much fun. Uh, but anyway, alas, it is not. Yep. While we're in that area, we should talk about one other thing that has been there a long time that oh, I yeah. think is really cool. Yeah. The art of animation. Yes. Art of animation, I think, is legitimately a cool thing. Mm-hmm. You walk in, it's this big hall where they just all around you project all the best stuff yeah. and behind the scenes it's kind of so cool. material. Sitting in that room all, just yeah. watching that stuff. It's, it's from all of Disney's animation, both on the screen yeah. and also like old sketches and artwork all just blasted around you mm-hmm. and it's so great and it's always the building to go to if it's hot outside yep because it's, it's ac it's pumping. ac and it's kind of dark inside and you're surrounded by animation plop on the ground just get get a get a get a schmoozy yeah and just sit there and post up man it's yep. great you could tell i was saying earlier today you could tell when it's a hot day outside because when you go in Art of Animation, it looks like a shanty town. Yeah. It looks like people up. are just camping out in there. Yeah, but I love the Art of Animation. Yeah, it's got a lot of cool, fun things like yeah. Turtle Talk with Crush, and, and where you yeah. just do a little show with Crush and a CGI Crush yeah, talks, talks to you. To you and, we and just did it today. Ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd learn how to draw a character. It's all these cool little things. They yeah. used to have this thing that was awesome. Yeah. And yeah. it was a giant. I don't know what you'd call it. They call it the thing where a um, zoetrope. Yeah, where it Spin looks it. weird, and then they th- they. Th- they throw a stro- strobe light onto it, and yeah. then it becomes animated. Yeah, it's a, like a zoetrope. Yeah. I think that's what it is. And it's just, it was all yeah. um, Toy Story characters, and it would just start spinning, and you're like, yeah. okay, this thing's spinning faster and faster. It's like, yeah. okay, that's cool. A, yeah. And then they would just, boom, hit it with a strobe light, yeah. and immediately all these characters were alive on the table. Fully animated. Yeah, yeah. fully animated and everything. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Uh, that was so cool. Yeah. That's not in there anymore. No, that is the Elsa and Anna meet and greet frozen area. Yep. Yeah. Enough said on that. Yeah. Yeah. They had to move that because they were moving it like everywhere. Heavy, didn't it? Yeah. And didn't it have wasn't a place. fitting, and so yeah. they put it there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, anyway, so, but. Yeah. It's still pretty cool. Like, you go there, and there's still like interactive kind of animation yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's still fun. There's still fun stuff in there. Yeah. Um, I should say, real quick, before we leave that area, yeah. there is the, uh, the uh, Hyperion Theater. I was just going to bring that up. At yeah. the end of the road. And there, for years, it opened, and they put, they had an, they, it's like they, I think when they originally opened California Adventure, they wanted to have, like, concerts in there. Mm-hmm. It never happened. Yeah. There wasn't really anything to do with that theater. No, uh, except fall off it, like Kelsey Grammer. I was going to say, <laughs> look up, Kelsey Grammer Falls, because that was the theater that, he yep. fell in. And man, is it glorious. What a great video. <laughs> it's so good. Best thing that ever happened in that theater. Yeah. But anyway... They randomly put an Aladdin stage show in there, and it was supposed to change out. Like, okay, it'll be Aladdin for a year, and then it'll be a. Then it was supposed to be a Toy Story show. Oh, really? It never happened. It was Aladdin for like fifteen years. It, like 
forever. Until like a year ago. Yep. And didn't it? What didn't they say? Okay, it's going away. Sorry. And people complain so much. They're like, okay, we're extending it. Never it. went away. We're yeah. extending it. And it, it went, did. Yeah. It eventually. It yeah. did. But that Aladdin show, I always wrote off. It was hokey. It was cheesy. And I went a couple times, just kind of like, well, whatever. It's caught yeah. out. And I grew to love it. Yeah, it was great. It was a lot it of eventually, fun. It was I mean, cheesy, but good. Totally cheese. Yeah. And, you know, they would have... Yeah. Here, here's the thing. They would have a... Uh, the genie would show up. Yeah. That The genie they had in that show would just improvise all this modern pop culture stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, you would groan. Mm-hmm. It, you would cringe. Yeah. But I always felt like, you know what? I would hear... What I would hear is you'd hear the adults groan. But all the kids would die laughing. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? This is the one character that they kind of started that with. Mm-hmm. Like, movies like Shrek ruin that, where it's, oh, they're just referencing pop culture stuff. Yeah. But you know what? Aladdin's Genie kind of did that first a little bit. Kind of. Mm-hmm. That I go, okay, you know what? You're excused. You can kind of, I mean, you're making, you just referenced Gangnam Style. You're, you're making me hurt, but yeah. I forgive you. Kind of, you know, that's kind of how I felt about it. Um, but anyway, but yeah, it was cheesy, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. And I was, uh, I was sad to see it go because what, what, they replaced it with a Frozen show. And that was disappointing. You know, I never want to be that guy that's like, you know, I'm fucking 30 years old. You got to appeal to me always, you know, yeah. that, you know, I don't want to be like that. Yeah. But it kind of disappointed me just because the Aladdin show was always packed. Yeah. So why replace it? And, and, you know, now it's a Frozen show. And I never go. I yep. don't have any. I've interest. never seen it. Yeah. So. Uh, and I know a lot of families who don't go now that it's frozen. I know a lot that do yeah. because it's frozen. So you, you know, it's give and take, whatever. Yeah. But I was, you know, just my personal I taste. Was I was out. like, Aladdin's classic, but you know, I don't know. I guess I'm always cagey when something hasn't been around that long. Mm. You know, I feel like Frozen. They they were build they were putting that show in barely after it had come out. Yeah. You know, so I was kind of like, oh, but you know, yeah. whatever, kids like Frozen, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything in that area. That's everything finally. in that area, pretty much. Yeah. But we should talk about the big, the big enchilada, the grand finale yeah. to the California Adventure story mm-hmm. is that we should rewind a little bit. In 2012, they finally said, hey, we're going to really um, really change California Adventure yeah. significantly. We're going to put some money into it because yeah. people still say it I sucks. think it was like a billion or over a billion? Something like that. A billion and a half. Insane. Yeah. And uh, they really did a number on all kinds of stuff. They renovated it totally. Yeah. I think the best addition that they made, personally, just my own personal taste, mm. was they made the whole opening street Buena Vista Street. Yeah. We instead themed of, it completely. Instead of this cheesy postcard. Yeah. It's now 1920s Los Angeles. Mm. It felt very Boardwalk Empire, which I guess was a big inspiration really? when they built it. Yeah. I've heard that from Imagineers. Huh. Uh, but they made it like the Los Angeles that Walt Disney went to when he came to town. Yeah. And 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 not only that, they actually added a statue of young Walt Disney. Mm. And a streetcar and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. the trolley goes yeah. through it. And they got the really nice, my favorite, you know, I you know, I'm kind of a, you know, I'm kind of a foodie, you know, I'm a food nut. You know, I don't know if people out there like good food. Maybe that's just I, me. I thought it was just you. It, it might yeah. just be me. Yeah. You know, I am a foodie, which is rare. How many people like good food? Just me. Not many. But anyway, uh, the the Carthay Circle Restaurant, great addition, because it, it added that you know Disneyland has their nice like Blue Bayou yeah. restaurant. It kind of gave California Adventure its own like ooh fancy. It has a nice restaurant like mm. if you want to go there, you know. And it's and it's themed to be it's the theater that they premiered Snow White in yeah. in the 30s or whatever. So, uh, I love that place. I think it's really yeah. great. Old, very old Hollywood. It feels, it almost feels more old Club 33 than Club 33 does now. Definitely. Uh, but uh, I love it. Anyway, yeah. the whole Buena Vista Street was a great addition. Um, uh, great stuff there. But anyway, um, it's rare that you see an air vehicle. Yeah. In this part of town. But anyway, um, but the big enchilada was. Cars Land. The, the entire new land built yes. onto a, pretty much, it was a parking lot behind kind of. That's what it was, like, right? Yeah, it used to be a parking yeah. lot and some of the park. Yeah. Um, what used to be there was this like farm area. It was about farming. Oh, uh, yeah. And it, it was things you could hit music with. They yeah. ripped it all out. I didn't care. Actually, yeah. they saved the gazebo. The gazebo's right next to that, oh, what, what okay. is now, I forgot what it was called. Yeah. 
but it used to be Burger Invasion and everything. Yeah, in that yeah, area, yeah. they yeah. moved the gazebo from that area to that. Okay. okay. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, basically the front, basically entrance of that is now Cars Land into this parking lot area that's yeah. been those. And Cars Land, I mean, it it kind of brought, even though, even though Bugs Land and stuff existed before, yeah. Cars Land was kind of, I felt like, at the forefront of this new this new thing of like franchise lands yeah like cars land oh it's all cars yeah it's gonna be a big new land it's all cars yep and i feel like that i feel like actually harry potter started that mm. like here's a whole land that's just harry potter and i feel like disney kind of took that baton and like oh people like things that are themed yeah. entirely to one land so you could look at it good and bad you know it's like they kind of it's kind of crazy like you're building a whole land just around one thing. And, and, and to be honest, yeah. that movie wasn't a smash hit for Pixar. Cars like, wasn't? Cars wasn't. I love it, yeah. but I mean, the reviews weren't like off, yeah. the, like off the charts. I think though, box office wise, I think it was still pretty, oh, really? wasn't it? I thought toy wise it was, but I don't think box office. Maybe, I don't yeah. know. I know critically people were mixed on it, Yeah. but kids were ape over yeah. it. Uh, so uh, I mean, I've always liked the movie. Oh, I'm, I'm, not try- loved- I'm not trying to defend it though. As no, like, no, no, no. I've loved. Uh, yeah, big, uh, cars. I, I've never been like a hater on cars. Yeah, uh, but I think it's still. Yeah, I think yeah. it did <laughs> well enough to build a. Yeah, land exactly. Of it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so they, when they announced that, it was like the whole land is built around that. How's that? How's that gonna work? Like, is that gonna be any good? But you know, somehow they did it. Yeah. Where. We got to go to it at a preview before it was even open to the yep. public. And I remember going, all right, let's see what this is all about. And we walked in through the back way, and you walked through this gigantic canyon. Yep. And it was amazing. It was like, are we even in I'm Disneyland I'm glad we anymore? walked through the back way because there's two entrances, one that just goes down yes. the main drag, yeah. and one that's this offshoot that is kind of just scenic. Yes. And you get yeah. to see all this rock work, and that's yeah. how we went in. That's That was the entrance they used back yes. when they are doing the preview. Yeah, I gotta say, and I still believe it now, if you've never been to Cars Land, going the back way is cooler, Yeah, I think. When you see that entrance with the billboard and all that stuff, I would say don't go in there. Go around through the through the wharf area yeah. and go through the back of Cars Land, because then it's like you're, you start to hear the, the, the sounds of the theme park leave you, mm-hmm. and you just get into this canyon and it's like you're leaving Disneyland yeah it's it's really like you've left and you're where am I you're just surrounded by rocks Mm -hmm. it really is impressive and 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 it just blows me away that they were able to do something so grandiose and awesome from cars yep which I mean wouldn't have been you know I said I like the movie but that wouldn't have been my first choice Mm -hmm. to build a land around I mean yeah unbelievable yeah Um, but it has uh, the big ride there was Radiator Springs Racer, which goes through that canyon. Mm. You go into like a dark ride portion, but then you go, it spits you out in this canyon. Into, you, into a race. You race around it. Yep. You like that ride, right? Love it. That That's my favorite ride here. Yeah. In the park. In, in the this park. park. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one of the best ones ever. Mm. I really think that it is. Um, it's really, uh, I'm, I'm horrible with fast rides. That ride is totally thrilling. It has a couple dips that make me want to throw up, but, uh, Everything else for me is super exciting. Yeah, you know, uh, it has the bank turns and like all that stuff. It's like so much fun. They did a good job mixing cute, cute dark ride with yeah. thrill, and it's not so thrill that like kids can't go on it. Nope. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people want thrill rides, but sometimes they do it to a point where it's like, man, this is intimidating. Like mm. a lot, like grandparents won't go on it. This, it's it's just enough that I think everyone can go yeah. on it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I think it's one of the best rides they've, they've ever built. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the other rides they built, they put in. Yeah, it was one of three rides. You can tell all the money went into the Radiator Springs Racers. Yes. And the other two were just kind of added on. Um, they were fun. Uh, the first one is was Luigi's Flying Tires. Yes, Luigi's and, Flying Tires. Uh, I I had a blast at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I had a blast on those. Uh, because they basically, you got to learn how to ride them. Yeah. They're hard to ride, but they yeah. threw beach balls everywhere. And I know that's stupid. Well, we should say, we should go back oh, and yeah. say, this ride was like the resurrection of, of the, the old flying, flying saucers, saucers in Disneyland. From, from Tomorrowland in the yeah. 60s, which never worked. They would try to use air to. It's a big air hockey to scoop table. You around on yeah. cushions. 
It never works. No. So they tried to do it again at Cars Land. You're on a big tire. Yeah. And it's funny. Tony Baxter, legendary Imagineer, had the best quote on it. He said, back in the 60s, you wanted to ride on a flying saucer. It was your dream. Yeah. Who dreams of flying on a tire? Yeah. The, like the concept did not the concept didn't work. Mm -hmm. And the ride didn't really work either. Nope. I mean, if you if you went on it a bunch of times, you'd get the hang you of got it. got the hang of it, and then it would be and fine. You could, but and you could fly around. Most of the time, you just see people just like, oh. yeah. Like, How do you steer this? Yeah. But as you as you said a minute ago, when it first opened, they had these giant beach balls yeah. on on the in the area. Yep. And you could fly around, and like I remember going on it with you and Brian, mm -hmm. and we would peg the hell yeah. out of each other. We would just throw them <laughs> at each other's faces yeah. so hard. Yeah. It was blast. Uh, Man, that was fun. Yeah. And Peg Strangers. I mean, that yep. was, you can't beat that. So anyway, after a while, they got rid of the beach balls. They said, and honestly, I heard people were people were futzing around with them too much, that it was slowing down the ride. Yeah. So I was like, no, get rid of them. And I remember telling my family that. I was like, can you believe that? They wrecked that ride. They got rid of the beach balls. They wrecked it. And my dad, I'll never forget, he said, if they, if they ruin the ride by getting rid of a toy that you could go buy at Walmart right now. Like, is that that great of a ride? Yeah. I was like, yeah, maybe not. Anyway, point is they replaced it. Yeah. Now it is a state of the art high tech ride. Yeah, the first time they've ever used this ride system. Trackless technology. Yep. So it's state of the art. But do you like the ride? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's better than it's, was there. Is, um, it's it, just it's Rollick and Roadsters. We just yeah. Rollick and Roadsters. Still the same platform that you used yeah. before. They've just paved it and. Yeah. Uh, and you really just ride in, you sit in a car yeah. and the ride is controlled automatically by a set pattern. Yeah, it's and like they're in a dance. Yeah, they're just together. basically dancing yeah. around to uh, like Italian music. I yeah. still have a fun time with it. I like, it's a, got, it's a cute ride, it's charming. I, yeah. I have fun on it. I think it is a cute, fun little ride yeah. if there's no weight. Yeah. Oh, if there's a long, long weight, forget it. Yeah. But uh, I, I appreciate it. I'm I'm a I'm a connoisseur of the old Italian music, mm. so I love that that's the soundtrack for it. So I get a little kick out of that personally. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I didn't like that, maybe I wouldn't like it as much. Yeah. But you know, if there's no weight, it's fun. Uh, and then there's the other ride that uh, what's it called? Mater's uh, Junkyard Jamboree. That's it. And it's essentially their teacup. It's a yeah. more advanced teacup. It just spins you around, but um, you're in the back of a tractor trailer. Yeah. And the tractor trailer can move around with it. Whip around. So you can whip that thing around good yeah, sometimes. Yeah. If you if yeah. you can feel it coming up. And yeah. uh, I think it's fun. It, again, again, if there's no weight. No weight, I'll yeah. go on it. It's yeah. fun. but They're kind of cheap thrills. Yeah. Both of those rides are kind of cheap thrills. Yeah. Radiator Springs is, is where the, all the, the, is the, the best. The big enchilada. Yeah. So that was kind of, that's kind of the big signature thing. And I got to say, too, I, I want to say I love the music in Cars Land. Yeah. Uh, normally, I kind of grown at contemporary music in the parks. That is one place where it's perfect. Yeah. Where they're playing old Johnny Cash yep. and like great. You're waiting in line for Radio Springs Races, and it's all old country. It's great. And uh, not to get too off topic, mm -hmm. old country rules. Yes. Old you know, country is amazing. Don't judge country by modern day pop country. Yeah. Go listen to some old stuff. And Hank Williams, it's all that stuff. Badass. Yes. Just saying. Anyway, so they play that there. So that's yep. Great. Anyway. That's most of California Adventure. That's pretty much. Uh, we are say. forgetting one thing. Yeah. Uh, there used to be, there was two factories. Oh, yeah. On the lot. Right out, um, it's kind of near where Cars Land is. Yeah. Um, just outside the main entrance. Yeah. There were two factories at the, I think they were there at the opening day. I'm not sure. There was one was the Mission Tortilla Factory where they would yes. make tortillas. Yeah. And essentially you would go through and they would, they would, show you how they made tortillas and everything yes. and have these little videos and, and it's actually like hologram things yeah and it was like how to grind like the corn yeah. and all this stuff and you would see all the conveyor belts and stuff how they yeah. made it and yeah, yeah. if it was your birthday you got a full package of them they would give you a bag of tortillas yeah and i never did that but i remember seeing pictures of sean and like eric and stuff yep. they went to disneyland and they all went on Space Mountain, and, With it, like, and they put the tortillas on their face. Yep. So the photo was them with tortillas. Because you get a whole bag of fresh tortillas, and they're great. Yeah. Um, if you don't, if it's not your birthday, uh, you just get one tortilla, and they're still, still good. not they're bad. Good. Yeah. Now they don't have that anymore. No. It was replaced by Ghirardelli, which is which was a good thing. Bonus. Yeah. It, Bonus. That, that's so good. Now you get free chocolate. Yep. And also expensive chocolate if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, but what they do still have, maybe you know what, the highlight of California Adventure. I might. Yeah. The bakery tour, <laughs> which shows you, first of all, when you walk in, they give you a free piece of sourdough. Yep. Eat them up. 
and they tell you about the classic legendary way of how they make sourdough bread. Yeah. And I mean, you got Rosie O'Donnell on the TV with mm-hmm. Colin Mockery. Yep. What a duo. What a power couple. Yeah. Telling you how 2001. To, yeah, telling it's, you how to make bread. Yeah. But the the key to it, the the really successful part of the whole thing is the bakery music. Yep. I think it's on YouTube. You can look up bakery theme. It's on iTunes. It's on, oh, it is on iTunes. I forgot about the that. California Adventure bakery theme. Yep. Look that up. That's probably the theme song of this episode. Yes. If you're looking for something to put on, you know, when you're, you know, you're feeling sexy, you know, you want to just chill out, you know. Yep. Skip, skip the Marvin Gaye. Skip the, you know, all that stuff. Put on the bakery theme. Mm. And you're just gonna light the candles. You're gonna have a great night. You know, Valentine's Day. You know, just get it, get it popping. But anyway, um, amazing track. But anyway, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't top that. No, oh, no, no. I will. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Say? I was just gonna say. I will say one thing though. There was a movie when California Adventure opened about making wine called really? Seasons of the Vine, narrated by Jeremy Irons. And, really? and they threw that thing out. It was gone. It's not there anymore. I went to Epcot this last fall, and they had a food and wine festival. They were playing it? And they opened up. There's a pavilion that's been closed to Epcot for years and years. There's nothing there anymore. They opened it up just during the festival to put in, like, food carts. And you're in this. It's, it's wicked. It's like, here's this 80s, like, dome yeah. full of closed attractions that just have some food carts laying around. But in an old theater that has been shut down for yeah ten years, however long, however long, they were playing season of the, seasons of the vine. Okay, and I was the only one in there watching. I'm Who like, oh, seasons of the vine, and yeah. people were coming in and just looking in and going, Ugh. where was that in here? Was that at the vineyard area? Yes. And and is that now the Blue Sky Cellar? That yes. Yeah, where they preview they, stuff. They preview stuff, which they haven't done in there's seven nothing years. to preview here. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. So that's that. That's yeah. that. I think we got to wrap it up. I think the park is closing. I think so. So anyway, everybody out there, if you uh, you know go to California Adventure, hit up the bakery, get a piece of bread. Yeah. Go to the Ghirardelli, get a piece of chocolate. Go on Grizzly River Run. Yeah. Get a piece of water, and enjoy the California atmosphere. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to be had here. It, yes. They've definitely improved the place a lot. Would I still recommend buying a ticket to this? By itself? No. No. Yeah. But if you're, you know, you got a vacation and you got some extra time, in addition to Disneyland, yeah. go here. And I love it as a, having an annual pass as a Californian. Yes. I love it as a hangout. It's, I, I don't think I've ever come to Disneyland and not come here. Yeah. I, I've always jumped over here to go on something or hang out. Or just hang out yeah. and get a, get so a, there's a lot of food yeah. options. Exactly. I, I always spend time over here. Yeah. So, you know, it's a great place to chill. Mm. Disneyland is the mind blower. Yeah. This is the, uh, what, what's the opposite of a mind blower? The, the, uh, the, the, the mind relaxer. relaxer. Yeah. Enough said. Anyway, <laughs> good night, everybody. Yeah. Right? This has been another creepy old crypt. This episode is probably going to be on iTunes. If it is subscribe yes please subscribe you know it's a good thing it just shows that you know oh people are listening yeah because i mean what's the point of doing this if nobody's listening (laughs) and if you're on youtube subscribe too it's my youtube channel help me out (laughs) subscribe comment like subscribe yeah wait do they what is it now oh it used to be stars remember that oh yeah you'd have to rate stuff on youtube and it was one or all like (laughs) so they they changed it to thumbs now it's smashed that like Hey, smash that like button. Cut this off. This is stupid.